In this method, we use the same algorithm that is used for quick sort. Let's take an unsorted list and let's assume that we have to find the second smallest element in the list. So the first element is assumed to be the pivot and the highest element is, is at level six. Here we have to compare the values of i and j. Since it's lesser, we can continue to check if the value at a is lesser than the pivot. It's greater, so we do not increment i. Next, we check if the value at j, that is 6, is greater than the pivot. It is, so we can decrement j. Now the value of 2 is lesser than 5, so we can swap the values at i and j, which is shown in red here. The swap is accomplished. Next, we can continue checking if the value at a is lesser than pivot, in which case we increment i and stop when we cannot. The values at the higher end have to be greater. The moment it's not, we stop. So j is 2 and i is 3. j has become lesser than i. So we have to stop and interchange the values of j with the pivot. Now here at value j, we have to return this to the algorithm, okay, which checks if that was the smallest element we had to find. Since it is the value of k, we have to stop and announce that 65 is the second smallest number in the unsorted list. If our value of k was greater than 2, we'd have to repeat the procedure for the higher end of the list. If the value of k was lesser than 2, which is returned by the partition method, we have to look in the lower half of the list.